Hi everyone and welcome to Island Block. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get your transaction hash of any transaction, let's say a deposit transaction or a withdrawal transaction on Binance. So let's say you deposit some money on your Binance account or you withdraw some funds and you would like to track the transaction on the blockchain either for record purpose or for confirmation purpose. You can always use this method. Now the reason why this is very important is because sometimes you would find some people that will tell you let's say they sent you a thousand dollars but then when you check your wallet what you would see would not be equivalent to that amount so in this case you would most likely have to track the transaction on the blockchain so you can confirm the actual amount that was sent when it was sent so you can know whether they sent you in excess or in deficit so the first thing you do is you click on wallet then you would head over to this icon now in case you are using the mobile version or you are using the web version the same process still applies so here I'm using the mobile version I'm using the mobile app on my phone so if you are using the web version the website you can still follow the same procedure so I come over to this And here I can see the recent deposits. I can also click here to see the recent withdrawals. So now once I click on deposits, I can click on any recent transaction. Let's say I would like to check this Ethereum transaction. I click on it and then I can copy the transaction ID, which is the hash. Now you can either copy the transaction ID, which is the hash or just check the transaction directly on the blockchain so when I click on check explorer it takes me straight to the blockchain transaction and okay for this particular transaction I do not get to see the hash or the transaction the reason is because this is an internal transaction so let's say on Binance if I send ETH from my wallet to another Binance user you don't get to track the transaction on the blockchain because it is regarded as an internal transfer. So what I'll do is, let me just go and find another transaction that is not an internal transfer. So I click on this transaction, which is Soul. And now to track this transaction, I can either copy the transaction ID, which I mentioned earlier, or just check the Explorer to track the transaction directly from the blockchain explorer so once i click check explorer here i can now see all the details that pertains to this particular transaction i can see when it was sent i can see how much was sent and i can also see who sent it and the fees the person paid and also get to see the value of that transaction from this particular screen now this is on the Solana blockchain now I can also scroll to check for let's say a withdrawal I did and here I withdrew USDT so I click on it now this is not an internal transaction so I can copy the ID which is the transaction ID or I can check the Explorer to see when I send the transaction, what I sent, the transaction fee I had to pay, and the wallet I sent it to. Now this way you can track and monitor any transaction you do, whether a withdrawal or a deposit on your Binance account. Thank you so much for watching and do have an awesome day. Bye-bye.